Welcome to Jackson's Berlin exhibition on Finnish design, Suomi. The closeness to nature and its elements have always had a strong impact on Finnish architecture and design. With a bold, independent approach, Finland have managed to acquire a unique position, nurturing some of the most important designers of the 20th century. The turbulent history of the young republic in the early 20th century led to an urge to shape a common language of references. Mythical subjects and symbolism played an expressive role. This period is referred to as Karelianism. The search for national identity was headed by national romanticism. This became the subject matter for many artists, composers and architects of the time. With references to the native crafts, the Finnish both held on to their historical roots and the importance of nature. One of the most influential architects of this period is Eliel Saarinen. Here is a desk and a chair from 1917 made for Lahti City Hall. Helsinki railway station by Saarinen is one of the most important symbols of this style. He also draw the interiors and these six chairs may well represent the spirit of the time. Saarinen later became one of the key figures in shaping post-war design. Emigrating to America, he was appointed a professor at the University of Michigan, tutoring, amongst others, Ray and Charles Eames, Florence Knoll and his own son, Eero Saarinen. In 1917, Finland declared independence and the Young Republic made major investments in developing new design. Seeking an opportunity to prove a modern forward nation, young designers were supported by the government as well as craft organizations and, most importantly, by the industry. During the industrial expansion, Finnish design gained great international recognition and was frequently exhibited abroad. One of these companies who really helped Finnish design to reach abroad was Arabia. These ceramics from the 40s are made by Twini Moina and Shelby for Arabia. Ceramic wall sculptures by Birge Kaipiainen. Kaipiainen was one of Finland's most well-known and respected ceramic artists. His works were marked by ornamentality, fantasy and exotism. His career at the factory's renowned art department continued for over 50 years. This is a wall sculpture by another of Arabia's internationally recognized artists and designers, Ruth Brygg. She became one of the reformers of modern ceramic art and design in Finland. Gunnar Nyman already began to design glass in the 1930s. She soon became Finland's leading glass designer of the 1940s. She often worked closely together with the glass blowers, which was rare at the time. Her designs from this period became the foundation of Finnish glass. The new glass design achieved its brilliant victories in the 1950s at the Milan Triennales and other international exhibitions. Itala is another Finnish company who understood the value of supporting young forward design and upcoming artists. Through their investments in finding new design, they gained great attention at the international exhibitions and their designers were greatly rewarded. This is glass by two of the most well-known Finnish designers who worked for Itala, Timo Sarpanieva and Tapio Vekala. Vekala is also a well-renowned furniture designer, most well-known for his veneered inlay objects. This is a very rare sculpture by Tapio Vekala in sterling silver. Made in the 50s, only three made, one in wood, one in bronze and this one in silver. Here is a sitting group by Ilmari Tapiovara, another very successful designer of the 50s. He was awarded a total of six gold medals at the Milan Triennales between the years 51 to 64. Tapiovara admired the works of Alva Alto and wanted to carry on Alto's ideas in his own design works. Tapiovara always sought to create a humane, comfortable and bright environment. His furnitures were always part of a whole with the architecture as their starting point. Alongside with the industrial expansion came a demand for reflection, opening up for constructional architecture, social responsibility and a break with national romanticism. And the designers started to create inexpensive, well-designed pieces for everyday needs. In this reform of modernistic approach, design objects also came to harbour a complete new meaning, quoted by Alva Alto. The product should not be considered final, but their users should interact with them to complete their forms. This is a dinner table and stacking side chairs by Alto. The stacking side chair is one of Alto's very early modernistic furniture, designed in 29, in solid and laminated birch. The Paimeo chair, designed in 1931-32, is one of the best-known pieces of furniture designed by Alto. 
It is made in bentwood and bent laminated birch, and named by the town in southwestern Finland for which Alvar and his wife Aino designed a tuberculosis sanatorium and all its furnitures. This chair was used in the patient's lounge. This is a wall-mounted cabinet from 1932 made for the Paimeo sanatorium. This outer shelf in birch were designed for the senior dormitory at Cambridge in 1948, produced by Artec. Alva Alto recognized the potential of the natural materials and the beauty of the organic forms. His empathy for nature and the human spirit became the leading foundation for modern Scandinavian design and architecture.